Hello everyone! Today I'm going to be taking a fairy from this book and drawing it. But I'm going to try to make it look better. So like, kind of a V-draw thing. And the fairy we're going to be doing today is a mushroom fairy. So as you can see, there's a mushroom fairy. I already made a sketch of the fairy, so let's get right into this! Now, I really don't know why, but I like the idea of a fairy sitting on a mushroom. I just think it cute. it's cute, and it makes sense, and it's also quite creative. Also, for some reason, cartoony mushrooms have the dots on the upper part, but most real mushrooms don't have that. I just think it's kind of random that the cartoony mushrooms have that, but real mushrooms don't. And... Another thing about mushrooms is there are so many types, too. They come in so many shapes and sizes. I had fun drawing the mushroom you see in that video. It's like a hat almost shaped mushroom. I think it's a cool kind of mushroom. Mushrooms are also decomposers, which means they clean up the environment from waste like dead plants and animals. Enough talk about mushrooms. Let's talk about the main story of the show, fairies. Most of the time, fairies in shows have elements. As of this fairy, I don't know what her element could be. Maybe water, flying, nature, I don't know. The problem with her is that most elements suit her, so who knows, it could be any element. And also, I purposely made her dress go over her legs. Because the legs are hard to draw, so I just decided to give her a dress that's pretty long. I'm also going to make a part two, where I color her. Because I think that could be fun to do. Hmm, looking at her, maybe she can be a mushroom fairy. That seems like a good job for her. I know it's obvious, but a mushroom type fairy... But a mushroom type fairy does seem good. She does look close to nature and maybe even a bit poisonous. I wouldn't eat her. Maybe this fairy's job could be to extract the poison from mushrooms. Maybe it could be useful to her. Her name could be Poison Pearl. Pearl could be her nip nickname since pearls are kind of mysterious like mushrooms. And mushrooms are poisonous too. Also, I know that her dress looks a bit weird, but I hope when I color it, it makes her dress look better. I think it will. One thing I took from the original design of the fairy is the wings. The wings I liked because they're just very simple, but they look very good too. As you can see, I didn't really know what to do with the hands, so I just kind of tried. They're okay, but... As long as you don't look at them too closely, it's okay. Around here is when I change the wing around a bit. The wings aren't exactly symmetrical, but they're okay. They look good. They're my favorite part. And then came the head. The head's the hardest part because I'm not very good at drawing human heads. And fairies are basically humans with wings. But I'm pretty good at drawing animal heads. After the head, everything kind of came together, though the head was the hardest part by far. The face wasn't easy to put on since. How do you draw a face in such a small part? Now the disastrous dirt face comes. The second face looks a bit better, but even that isn't really that good. I think maybe while I color it, I might fix up the face a little bit with a sharper pencil. Maybe I'll be able to make it look better later? I don't know. It doesn't look very good. The disastrous dirt face. At least the second one looks better. And altogether, it doesn't look that bad, just... If it's all one piece, it doesn't really sit... It's pretty good but when you just look at the face it's pretty bad 
So, maybe I can fix it up later. I don't know. And that's the end of the video. Goodbye, everyone!